ಕಪಿ ಜನ ವಲ್ಲಭ ಗಿರಿವರದೇ ಗಪಿ ಜನ ವಲ್ಲಭ ಗಿರಿವರದೇ ಶೋದನಂದನ್ನ ವ್ರಜಜನಂದನ್ನ ಯಶೋದನಂದನ ವ್ರಜಜನಂದನ ಯಮುನಥೀರಿ ಯಮುನತಿರಾವನ ಚಾರೇ ಜಯ ರಾಧ ಮಾರವ ಕುಂದಿಹಾರಿ ಅಪಿ ಜನ ವಲ್ಲಭ ಗಿರಿ ಬರದಿ ಜನ ವಲ್ಲಭ ಗಿರಿ ಬರದ ಶೋದನಂದನ ಭಜಜನಂದನ ಯಶೋದನಂದನ ಭಜಜನಂದನ ಯಮುನಥಿರ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಬಾಬು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಅದ್ವೈತ ಕದ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೋರಭಕ್ತವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಅಲ್ಲೆ ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಅಲ್ಲೆ ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹಲ್ಲೆ ಹರೆ 
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 गौरंगा हिताय गौरंगा Nithai Goranga, Nithai Goranga, Nithai Goranga, Nithai Goranga, Nithai Goranga, Nithai Goranga, Goranga, Jai Sachi Nandana, Jai Sachi Nandana. Jai Sachi Nandana, Jai Sachi Nandana. Jai Sachi Nandana, Gora Hare. Jai Sachi Nandana, Gora Hare. Daya Pabu Pada, Daya Pabu Pada, Daya Pabu Pada, Daya Pabu Pada. Daya Pabu Pada, Daya Pabu Pada, Daya Pabu Pada, Daya Pabu Pada. Jaya Guru Deva, Jaya Guru Deva, Jaya Guru Deva, Jaya Guru Deva. Guru Dev, Guru Dev, Guru Dev, Jaya Guru Dev.
Jai Shri Prabhupada ki Jai Antaraj Shrimad Bhagavatam ki Gaur Bhakta Vrinde ki Jai Ita Gaur Premanandi Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya So is there anyone translating in Hindi or? Everybody English. Okay. So reading today from Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 3, chapter 29, verse 10. Kalmani Raram Hudisya. Yeah. Pasmin Vatadarpanam. Yajet Yastavyam Ichiva Pritag Baba Sasadvika Kalmani Raram Hudisya Parasmin Vatadalapanam Yajet Yastavyam Ichiva Pritag Bhava Sasadvika Kalmanir Haram Hudisya Parasmin Vat Arpanam Yajet Yastavya Mitiva Pritag Bhava Sasadvika Yajetya stavya mitiva Pritang bhava sasadvika Ladies Kalmani laharam hudisya Kalasmin laharapanam Yajetya stavya mitiva Pritang bhava sasadvika Karma, fruitive activities, Niraram, bring himself from, Odisha, with the purpose of, Parasmin, to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Va, or, Tadahalpanam, offering the result of activities, Yajet, may worship. Yastavyam, to be worshipped. Iti, thus. Va, or. Pritag Bhava, separatist. Sa, e. Sadvika, in the mode of goodness. Translation of the verse. When a devotee worships the Supreme Personality of Godhead, 
and offers the result of his activities in order to free himself from the inebriities of fruitive activities, his devotion is in the mode of goodness. Please repeat. When a devotee worships the Supreme Personality of Godhead and offers the result of his activities in order to free himself from the inebriates of fruitive activities, his devotion is in a mode of goodness. Purport by His Divine Grace, Srila Prabhupada. The Brahmanas, Kshatriyas, Vaishyas and Shudras, along with the Brahmacharis, Griyastas, Vanaprastas and Sannyasis, are the members of the eight divisions of Varnas and Ashramas. And they have their respective duties to perform for the satisfaction of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. When such activities are performed and the results are offered to the Supreme Lord, they are called karmarpanam, duties performed for the satisfaction of the Lord. If there is any inability or fault, it is atoned it is atoned for by, his, by this offering process. But if this offering process is in the mode of goodness rather than in pure devotion, then the interest is different. The four ashramas and the four varnas act for some benefit in accordance with their personal interest. Therefore, such activities are in the mode of goodness. They cannot be counted in the category of pure devotion. Pure devotional service, as described by Srila Rupa Goswami, is free from all material desires. Anya bilasita sunyam. There can be no excuse for personal or material interest. Devotional activities should be transcendental to fruitive activities and empiric philosophical speculation. Pure devotional service is transcendental to all material qualities. Devotional service in the modes of ignorance, passion and goodness can be divided into 81 categories. There are different devotional activities such as hearing, chanting, remembering, worshipping, offering prayer, rendering service, and surrendering everything. And each of them can be divided into three qualitative categories. There is hearing in the mode of goodness, there is hearing in the mode of passion, there is hearing in a mode of ignorance and mode of goodness. Similarly, there is chanting in a mode of ignorance, passion and goodness, etc. Three multiplied by nine equals 27. And when again multiplied by three, it becomes 81. One has to transcend all such mixed materialistic devotional service in order to reach the standard of pure devotional service as explained in the next verses. O Magyana Timenandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshur Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Nama Shri Chaitanya Manobistam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Lupa Kadamayam Dadatisva Padantikam Mandeham Shri Guru Shri Yuta Padakamaram Shri Guru Vaishnavancha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sagana Ralita Shri Vishakam Vitamcha E Krishna Kaluna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostate 
ತತ್ತಕಾಂಕ್ಷಾನ ಗೋರಂಗೇ ರಾಧೆ ವೃಂದವನೇಶ್ವರೆ ವಿಷಭಾನು ಶ್ರುತಿ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಣನಾಮಿ ಅರೇ ಪುಯೇ ವಂಶ ಕಾತ್ಪಾತರುಭ್ಯಾಚ ಕಿ ಪಶ್ಚಿಂದಿ ಭ್ಯ ಪತಿತ ಪವನೇಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪವನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತಾಗರದ ಶಿವ ಸರಿಗೋರ್ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪದಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಶ್ಚಾಯ ಭೂತದೇ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ತಮರ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಇತಿ ನಾಮ ಜಯ ಗುರುದೇವ್ so this verse today <coughs> tells us about pure devotional service how to please the lord supreme personality of god and and what what pure uh what how this devotional service should be accomplished in a certain way it's always enlivening of course to have uh, the personality of god himself like in this case kapiladev speaking to devaruti <coughs> so having his instructions is always very very beneficial for the soul but at the same time we can realize that he's talking about live levels of consciousness which may be very far from our present condition however because we have to speak and comment about his words we have to accept it so is talking here of offering the result of your activities but with a purpose with a purpose of freeing yourself from the difficulties of karma from the consequences of karma so this is considered as devotional service in a mode of goodness but prophet points out here that it's not completely the topmost topmost mood of the surrendered devotee there are so many ways to uh, perform devotional service actually open made it very simple he said just chant hare krishna and be happy that's <laughs> very simple and that's for everyone and hope uh, i wanted devotional service for everyone if he if he would come in the west and tell about all the smart uh, rules and regulations mission impossible as we say in french mission impossible impossible and then we see that paupad had the perfect understanding of the people he was talking to according to time place and circumstance so he gave a process which first you love god first you do something at the beginning of this movement in the west in america there was not even the uh, mongol arty prayers in store yet there was nothing imposed on people but epis youngsters they would they would be coming with the just you know the instruction you come and offer some flowers some fruits patrap 
Kushpam Falam Toyam Yome Bhakta Panachati. You just come and you offer. So hippies, you know, they sometimes they offer the whole sorts of things. They are flute, they are <laughs> you know the things that they were doing or artwork or handicraft or whatever and sometimes some flowers, sometimes some fruits. And Prabhupada knew that by doing something for Krishna, they would be benefited. So that's the whole understanding that we have <coughs> when we preach to people. Because Jai Because the more you want to impose rules and regulations on people nowadays, more difficult, very difficult. Some people might be attracted to rules and regulations, yes. But here, what's, what's being put in focus here is the consciousness. It's not whatever you do. It's the mood, the consciousness that you have when you do it. <coughs> so in this regard, we can see that the worship of Lord Jagannath, for instance, is very, uh, very merciful. Anybody can come to a Rotayatra festival, whatever is faith, whatever is no faith. And... Everything is offered to Jagannath and Jagannath accepted. Anything. So, <coughs> that was also part of Srila Prabhupada's strategy to start festivals with the Ratayatra festival around the world. You know, it started very simple and on a bed truck, on a flat bed truck. Uh, but devotees were in ecstasy because, you know, people would come, enjoy and chant Hare Krishna, glorify Krishna. And, <coughs> and we really realize that without this uh, simplicity of performance of devotional service, us in the West, we wouldn't make it impossible. But, of course, Prabhupada knew as a, an Acharya, he knew exactly where he was taking these people up. And he wanted to elevate their consciousness. So, at the beginning, might be, you know, 81 ways of worshipping so many hundreds and thousands of moods are there when you come to religion. And some are mostly in fear of God and they don't know what to offer. They don't qualify themselves to offer anything. They just, out of fear, tremble when praying. That's a way. Why not? That's a way. But, 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 to take out of the art the love spiritual love that all of us we have for Krishna this is an amazing feat because you have to be yourself an ambassador of that pure love ocean of love which Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give to the world and that was Srila Prabhupada. An ocean of love, an ocean of compassion. And so he was perfectly empowered to understand. Because if you're a preacher, you have to understand the people you're talking to in order to don't make them, you know, escape from day one. So you have to be more and more perfect in your ways of attracting people. 
And I see uh, you have Amogalila Prabhu, who is very known all over the world, because he has ways to attract. Yeah, it's a blessing, you have to accept it. <laughs> but this, uh, this, this is, you know, once we attain uh, detachment completely from the results of our activities, if we are motivated, you know, Prabhupada made, made it so clear that Anya uh, Bilasita Snunyam, if you have complete detachment from the results of your activities, then Krishna can empower you. Krishna gives all blessing to you. You just give out. That's all. And Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, in his uh, lila of being a gardener, is explaining that he has this tree of love of Godhead is full of rip mangoes, rip fruits, and he wants to distribute them to the whole world. But he needs people to help him. Because this tree is huge, huge, encompassing the whole world. So he needs, you know, he's, he's asking, help, please help me to distribute these fruits. So this is the right mood, you know. We just come because we have been called upon. Mahaprabhu himself, Krishna, in this age, coming, ask you, help me, I want to give these people the fruits of love of God, but alone I cannot do it in the whole world. So, please help. So this is the Sankirtan mission. We do it in our own way, at our own space, at our own level of realization, and then the results are amazing. Amazing! When you see the world today, it's not in good shape. It's really bad. It's really bad. At all levels, people are becoming less than cats and dogs. Their ways of living, their motivations for living, they don't have. They live just like animals. Most of the people in the world are just drawn to a kind of life where they don't have any higher purpose. And so, the only purpose being to be free, let us be free, free of all rules, free of all regulations, free of all principles. God doesn't exist. So they become more and more and more entangled in the gunas, in Rajagun, Tamogun, some a little bit in Sadvagun, a little bit. So today, <laughs> Papa is talking about Devotional service in Satsvagun, in Satsvagun means condition devotional service, but heaven <laughs> to find people who are at such level, it's, you know, very difficult. So, because uh, Shri Bhakti Siddhanta told him, Prabhupada, first day they, they met, this world is in fire. So when there is fire, emergency is called. You have to, you have, whoever is there to help bring down the fire is welcome. And this is the position. This is the position. Uh, so our devotional service at the beginning might be Motivated, yes, we may come with motivations. <coughs> may in need of money, may be in need of just friendship. We may be just 
taking shelter because we have no shelter, nowhere. So many ways we come to devotional service at the beginning. But, but being part of this amazing movement of saving the world from going to hell, we become enlivened. Uchayat nishkayat deayat tatat karma pavartanat. Devotees' enthusiasm is the first quality. And, you know, it's easy to catch this fire of Sankirtan. <coughs> this mood of helping, wanting to help. Everybody is, in India, we can see, seva is something very important here. At least I can understand. People like to do seva. But to guide them to do the, the, the real seva, the, the real good for them and for everybody, slowly, slowly we come to that realization. To engage them. Many people at first, they, if they would understand what is, what is asked, from them, it's a bit too much, you know. I'm not ready for that. But caught up in the enthusiasm of other devotees, caught up in the enthusiasm of the mission, then, yeah, it becomes very good, very nice, and happily they join it. So that's, that's the way we... You know, technically, how to raise from one mode to the other, from Tamogun to Rajogun to, to then to Sadvagun. Uh, yeah, technically, it may take a long time, even many lifetimes, maybe. I remember myself burning my Rajas, distributing books like mad in parking lots, in houses, in, in the street, everywhere. And we didn't know <laughs> that we were getting a test. We, we didn't know. But the test was slowly coming. And then we raised to this, you know, to this mood huh, of doing everything for Krishna, doing everything for the pleasure of Krishna. Full surrender at Manir Panam. So, this uh, instruction given here by Sri Kapiladev is really made for the ISKCON movement. Much, much, much ahead of time. <laughs> but it's there for us. We have to really meditate on these verses. They are very important to understand in, in, in which way we can please the Lord and take a lot of inspiration from the example of elder devotees who are more diving into this bliss, bliss. I don't know if you use it in India so much, this word, bliss. Okay, what's 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 it? Ice cream. Ice cream, the brand name Bliss. Ah. Bliss ice cream. Oh, okay. <laughs> so everybody's in bliss here. Yeah. Full bliss. <laughs> Thank you. It's very enlivening, and of course you have a big. Uh, a big uh, challenge, you know, building up a, a temple is not a small challenge. So it will come once the waves of bliss are inundating the whole Dwarka. <laughs> How many millions of people here? Around? How many millions of people around Dwarka? One million. Ooh. So. In order to build up this temple, we need uh, the help of a couple of thousand. No? <laughs> okay, so far maybe I'm sure I would really love to hear some of you have some realization of the verse today. Otherwise we can go to questions.
Hare Krishna, thank you for your class. Uh, I have a question. Um, like when we are chanting 16 rounds, so uh, gradually we are, like first of all when we are chanting we are not at all aware of chanting. Like slowly, slowly we are coming to the next level. Like now I will chant more nicely like that. So till 16 rounds we have somewhat have a realization and understanding that yes I have to chant it loudly and realize it the Mahamantra. But uh, Prabhuji like when we are offering food to Krishna, so that is a one time only we are offering like maybe in morning or so that are few minutes we can say. So that time maybe we have a mixed mode of uh, consciousness that time. Like maybe in sometimes we are in mode of passion, sometimes in goodness also. So uh, the main uh, point I wanted to ask you so how it will affect our consciousness when we are taking prasadam out of it? Because this is the minim limited time period we have offered food for Krishna in the maybe sometimes if uh, my work was not good, let's assume. So I may be having mixed passion or so I offered and I take it. So how the things you're, go? You're talking here of the quick fit offering, huh? The quick fit, quick fit offering. I go to work, so I have to go very quick. Yeah, everything is not perfect. Huh? But you think of Krishna, that's the most important. You think that this, you cannot eat any food which has not been offered to him. So that's, that's the plus. And of course, <laughs> I've seen so many offerings, you know, done. Like one, one day in Saint-Gertan, one devotee was there. It was in south of France. And there we have uh, many fruit trees because the, it's very sunny. So the, one devotee was in a, an apricot tree. And he said to all the party which was there, don't, don't worry, I, I've offered the tree. <laughs> <laughs> So the devotees came and, you know, enjoy <laughs> Ma Prasad. <laughs> so, yeah, it's possible, yeah. And I've, I've, I've heard some similar story also with uh, Vishnu Jan also in uh, America. But, uh, yeah, all offerings of Boga are not done always in the same, uh, in, a, in a pure Krishna consciousness with all the rituals, all the prayers, with the, you know, uh, sometimes it's done a bit too quick. And, uh, but Krishna is not so much concerned about so many details. He wants the best out of you. That you think of him all the time that's the most important result. And even also, your chanting might not be all the time in pure, pure con Krishna consciousness. Maybe a shadow chanting, you know, shadow of the name. The name is not purely revealing itself to you. But you go on chanting still. And the more you do it, even out of duty, the more taste will come. The technicalities, oh yes, of course, there are books about the technicalities of the chanting of the Holy Name. You come to that once you already attain a certain level. Most important is you do it. Yes. Thank you very much, Prabhuji. You explained so nicely how Prabhupada made this happen, what we are seeing now. So, uh, Prabhuji, my question is that we, uh, 
we realize it that our activities affect our consciousness and the same way consciousness affects our activities so uh, sometimes our mind just keep keep on you know uh, uh, moving like a pendulum that we m focus more on the activity part that we may i may not miss this i may not mi miss this i just may complete the activity of our devotional service like it uh, we may say uh, of chanting or mangala arti or darshan arti all the uh, activities we have in our uh, da daily routine and sometimes our mind suggests that no i should do it very with high quality i should put my consciousness in it so but it's uh, sometimes it's very rare that i am focusing on both the aspects together so is it okay that it moves like that or we should focus on consciousness or on activity on one part but what is consciousness consciousness is the reflection of the soul so if your soul is attracted to perform something for krishna then consciousness will adapt some way or other the, the again same everything starts with you know your art you want to do things for krishna the best way might not always been the best way so doesn't matter eh? because you have this original desire again to take the example of Paupa at first when he started a movement he, you know so many things he overviewed he didn't really go in uh, analyzing or chastising the devotees for so many mistakes you know everybody knows the, the, the history of the cigarette on the top of Jagannath you know, when Shyama Sunda was carving the, the first Jagannath. It's amazing, you know. In India, we shouldn't <laughs> even think about that, you know. Your deity is not bona fide. You are throw, throw, throw. But Prabhupada was so merciful. He was not idle or lenient. Or, no, he was sure, convinced that these devotees would be giving the best out of themselves. So this mood of Prabhupada we should reflect. Because in a way we also, each one of us, we have to deal with others. Prabhupada had to deal with young teenagers. We all have to deal with young teenagers and other people, you know. So we all have to reflect this kind of mood in order to attract people to Krishna consciousness. So don't bother too much about uh, what is first. My, my motivation uh, first is the motivation of serving Krishna. Don't bother too much about that. You do it uh, even out of duty. Okay, good enough. If you're just working out of duty, that's a good enough qualification. Hmm. Yes, Prabhu. Thank you so much, Shoji, for this class. Uh, I want to ask that if we set the right attitude and right uh, consciousness uh, while we rendering a devotional service, if we set the right objective that we are doing for the pleasure of Krishna, then, uh, and if if I'm if I'm under uh, the uh, mode of nature, I'm fighting, I'm struggling from mode of nature while performing. But I am uh, the objective of uh, my consciousness is right that I'm doing for the pleasure. So still, it will be count uh, in uh, in uh, like I'm rendering a pure devotion service or to render pure devotion service. I have to be like become a pure devotee uh, first. Uh, how how will it be accepted by Krishna? How do you know? that it will be accepted. It is accepted by Krishna. How do you know? By seeing if the devotees are happy with it. That's the way. How Krishna speaks to you? Through the devotees. That's all. That's, that's the way to, to be sure that you're on the right track. If you see that your service is pleasing to the devotees around you, then Krishna, Krishna's blessing is there. So definitely. 
सो टू रेंडर डिवोशनल सर्विस विदाउट मतलब विदाउट द कंटेमिनेशन ऑफ मेटल मोड्स ऑफ नेचर टू परफॉर्म प्योर डिवोशनल सर्विस आई हैव टू सेट माई कॉन्शियसनेस फर्स्ट यू हैव टू ऑलवेज वॉन्ट टू प्लीज द डिवोटिस दिस इज द की बिकॉज विदाउट दैम यू कैनॉट डू एनीथिंग यू कैनॉट जस्ट बिकम Prabhu number one, <laughs> without the blessings of all the devotees, and Prabhu number one. Don't worry, you know the big trees. Only the big trees can get the storm, you know, so can easily fall down also. So together we stand, united. Yeah. Thank you so much, Prabhu. Thank you so much. Ladies, <laughs> okay. Yes. So we have the corner for questions here. <laughs> uh, it would be nice to expand it a little bit. Yes. Thank you, Maharaj, for the class. एक्चुअली आई एम आस्किंग दैट कृष्ण इज सेइंग दैट स्वल्प अम्पी से धर्म से रायते महत्व भयात सो व्हाट इज दैट महत्व भयात इज इट दैट ही विल इफ समवन इज सेइंग वंस कृष्ण सो इज दैट मी इज दैट डज दैट मीन दैट ही विल नॉट गो टू हेल फॉर पनिशमेंट और व्हाट काइंड ऑफ आई मीन टू आस्क दैट व्हाट इज दैट रायते महत्व भयात तो महत्व भयात इज व्हाट या कृष्ण वी डोंट फियर वी डोंट फियर नो फियर फॉर देवोती बिकॉज़ कृष्ण प्रोटेक्टिंग ऑल द टाइम ऑल द टाइम and so that kind of faith strong faith sai bhav it's really strong deeply rooted in you uh, is there like prahlad maharaj you know the, the best example wow you know the environment around prahlad maharaj was <laughs> very terrifying you know blood and uh, intestines flowing and uh, <laughs> wow and roaring and the sound and everything was scaring better than harry potter you know <laughs> it was scaring scaring but palad his father his father being turned into pieces you know wow yeah. that's when you really have to realize i am not this body <laughs> <laughs> Alad, oh Jai Jai! All glories to my master. All glories to you. All glories. All glories. He was completely, completely, no fear, nothing, just in bliss, completely in ecstasy to see the development of, you know, this anger of the Lord against uh, the the most wicked behavior of his father. so this mood of no fear again can be uh, obtained only when you yeah you have to chant very 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 seriously you know because because it's easy to t- to talk even about fear you know but once you meet you meet very very difficult circumstances that's where you are. your sincerity is is you know proven someone coming attacking i've been in a temple in africa where i came it was with mahavishnu swami i came on a visit uh it was north kenya and <coughs> we came then we went to another country rwanda then we came back to this same temple a small temple kishumu When we came back the temple had been attacked which I was told in Africa is quite often Although there was a chokidar a guard at the at the entrance but the you know the the the, the dacoits they were very smart you know they said oh, oh, oh. can i uh, get some water you know give me some water and the guard you know without attention bam 
you know, gun in the back. And then they came, they wanted the money. And they came and the, the devotee protecting the, the Krishna and protecting the money <laughs> was uh, Pujali. So he was there on the altar and somewhere or other they, they, they beat him to death, practically speaking, you know. Bam, smashing him on the ground with their guns in the, in the, in the body, you know, it, it, it was terrible. And, but some way or other, they escaped with the money, but he protected the deities. <laughs> and he was, uh, he was definitely wounded, but the deities were safe. So, this kind of danger, how do we react to this kind of danger? Very difficult to, to tell, you know, but this devotee, surely he was a buyer. No fear, because he knew what he was doing. A materialistic devotee would be, okay, you know, I surrender from the beginning. But no, this devotee was there, protecting the deities. Other questions? Okay. Yeah. Oh, same corner again. <laughs> Thank you, Prabhuji. Just from this point, Prabhuji, sometimes it comes in, come in our mind that uh, our level of surrender is very low. It is just at the beginning level. But when it comes to the reciprocation from the side of Lord, we expect that he 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 should he may reciprocate with us at the level of pure devotion as he do with pure devotees like i i may be surrendered 1% but krishna should protect me 100% so we have this kind of mindset i don't quite catch him that yeah, maybe someone else someone else you comment i don't quite catch him what what's his main point our level of our surrender is very low, but we expect reciprocation from the Lord that He may reciprocate, you know, as He do with pure devotees. So, expecting reciprocation, that's not exactly the mood of pure devotional service. Uh. <laughs> he may, he may not. Because how, how can you understand the mood of Krishna? It's, you know, it's always long term. It's always long term. So, what is blessing and not blessing, you don't know. You can't say. So, you know, we have so many examples of that. Blessing in, in disguise, you know. Like Prabhupada again, you know, business. <laughs> Although he was supposed to be the biggest businessman of India. <laughs> but no, it didn't happen. Because he had a bigger business for the world, not only for India. <laughs> Shida Prabhupada ki! No, reciprocation, Krishna is reciprocating every day with you. He's giving so much. But you, sometimes you're blind, you don't see what he's giving, what he's telling you. Okay, so we'll stop here. Thank you all very much. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Shri Madhu Bhagavatam ki jai. His way Sitai Gaurasundar Prabhu ji ki jai. Prabhu ji is a disciple of His Holiness Tamal Krishna Goswami Maharaj. So we are receiving mercy of Shri Tamal Krishna Maharaj through His glorious disciples. Like we have today His way Sitai Gaurasundar Prabhu ji. Thank you, thank you Prabhu ji. Your very presence was very devotional and very inspirational. 
Thank you, thank you very much. Let's pay our gratitude to Prabhuji by chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Shri Prabhupada ki jai, Krishna Prasadam ki jai.